is KCRA 3. We begin with breaking news. And we begin with that breaking news. Massive fire, this one right here, burning in outside of Tracy, forcing evacuations in a neighborhood that's very uh, close by this, literally right next. This is a pallet storing kind of like warehouse, yeah. a site where they have stacks and stacks of, of fuel. Clearly. And we know based on experience, when these pallets burn, they burn for hours. So this is happening along Grantline Road in the community of Bonta. The fire started about two o'clock this morning, so it has been burning like this for three hours. And it it is, as you can see on this map, near an elementary school. Yeah, let's go right now to Melanie Wingo. She is there live. Melanie, what is the very latest on this? Well, we were about a half mile away from the fire at our last location, but I wanted to get you all closer to where the elementary school is, which is just across the street from this pallet facility and take a look. We're, we're standing here at Grant Line Road at 7th slash El Rancho Road. I can feel the heat coming from this facility, so you can only imagine what the fire crews are dealing with as they are so close up to it. Extraordinary flames leaping into the sky, this column of smoke swirling also high up into the sky. And where we are right now, I can see just embers raining around the immediate area, including overhead where we are. You can also see what crews are dealing with right now, because if you'll swing around right here, you can see at least one power pole near the facility right here. It's smoking and um, it, it is clearly part of this fire scene and something that's compromised. That's why a little bit earlier when we first arrived, we saw PG&E crews flocking to this scene as well as fire crews going lights and sirens into the scene. We are seeing some witnesses out here who potentially showed up for work in this industrial area across the street from the pallet facility or just people in the area who are uh, taking a look at this very explosive scene right here. We have crews from all over the place. I saw Manteca fire. We know Tracy fire, uh, South County fire, all, all manner of agencies coming to assist Stockton fire as well because this has risen to a third alarm at least. We're still waiting to hear back from fire crews, but they have their hands full at this moment. What people should know in the immediate term is there is a major traffic impact on all roads leading to this site. I know Brian Hickey's on top of that portion of this, but for right now, I can tell you that they are taking, fire crews are taking that defensive stance, which means they kind of come back away from the inside of the facility itself. And if you look over in this direction here, it appears to be on the east side of the facility. We see some water being sprayed down on to the flames, uh, but it's from an extended ladder type truck that is spraying water onto it. An extraordinary number of resources. That's what I can also report here, just being on the ground, watching these PG&E crews come to the scene, watching the fire engines come to the scene, seeing how there are some crew members who are being swapped out as others come in, and they're trying to make sure this doesn't spread. Obviously, with flames of this magnitude, it's not as if they can go in, douse this puppy, and then be out of there and have it all said done. Fire crews have to, for the safety of the fire crews, they have to take that defensive stance where they surround it and try to make sure it doesn't spread any farther than it has. Um, as we have been reporting this morning, there are some homes nearby, there are some businesses nearby, and just across the street from this facility is that elementary school. And we wanted to show you at home the proximity to the flames, so just across from where this fire is burning is the elementary school to the east. So down this road here where, where we are right now, across from there, at least according to my map, that's where the school is located. We can almost say with great certainty that school will have an impact this morning, although we're waiting for official word from the school district as to if they have plans to meet up at an alternate site. That is to be seen, to, remains to be seen, but for the immediate term, 
This is the situation fire crews are dealing with, just an explosive fire, just sending all kinds of flames and smoke up into the air, compromising power lines, making it dangerous for any nearby surrounding homes and businesses. So that's why crews, we heard earlier this morning, and as reported by authorities, they were going door to door, just making sure people were aware of this and that they were uh, evacuated from their homes as a precaution. Fire crews do appear to have a handle on keeping people away from this site, other than people who might have already be, been within the immediate vicinity, because as you can see across the way, uh, there are some people standing by, although it appears there may be some emergency personnel, some paramedics on scene just to be safe, although we have not heard of any injuries so far. So Brandy and Teo, that is what is happening out here. Again, we're at Grant Line Road and El Rancho Road, which also kind of merges in with 7th. Just an extraordinary scene out here in the community of Banta. Melanie, I don't know if you've had a chance to look at kind of the bird's eye view of this, this area, this neighborhood here, but it is quite rural. And we were counting maybe right behind it, just to the north of this, maybe 13 to 15 homes could be directly affected. Yeah, and I haven't done the numbers count just yet, but to the point about it being a rural area, when we were over at South Bird Road and West Grant Line Road, which was um, in our earlier reports, about a half mile away from the scene proper where we are, we wanted to get, again, closer to the elementary school to give you a sense of exactly how much of an impact this would have, uh, being that in proximity, it is so close. And we passed... Um, at least an orchard or two. So we know there are some orchards nearby. So it is a rural area where there would be some, you know, agricultural space. Um, and then in the immediate area next to the, the pallet facility, it appears to be industrial. And then as you mentioned, we are seeing some homes nearby. And certainly at our last live report location, I was standing right next to a home. Uh, nobody was outside looking at the fire or anything like that. Otherwise, I would have uh, checked in with them uh, to see if they were notified by authorities. But at least what uh, fire officials have told KCRA 3 is that they did go door to door trying to alert people who live in the immediate area that uh, all of this was going on if they had not seen it for themselves. And as we could see it from 30 miles away on I-5 southbound as we were headed in this direction. It's just an extraordinary orange glow that you can see coming off the highway. Yeah, it is a massive fire indeed. And Melanie, we're taking a look at those live pictures and we can, of course, see uh, those firefighters putting water both on the fire itself and also on the trees surrounding that area, of course, making sure that it doesn't spread. We're going to check back in with you in just a few minutes, but we want to also show you some photos from a viewer in the area. As Melanie said, the, this fire can be seen from miles and miles away. The viewer managed to capture these images while driving along the 205. And you can see how big the flames were from far away. This is around the time the fire broke out right around 2 a.m. Tracy police confirmed they are assisting Highway Patrol with those evacuations, as Melanie mentioned. And as a result of these flames, since you can see it so far away, the flames are massive. It's causing some rubbernecking, I would assume, on nearby interstates, Brian. Yeah, we are seeing some delays on westbound 205 right now. In fact, as Melanie reported, you can see this from the road and we can see it from the Caltrans camera. This is the camera located right here at the I-5-205 split and off in the distance, you can see the glow of that fire. And that is why we are seeing stop and go traffic for those of you coming in southbound I-5 onto 205. The fire is burning right here, not far from the freeway. But of course, as Melanie had said earlier, you could see it from I-5 from 30 miles away. So right in that immediate area, though, east and westbound on 205 we are seeing some slowing so we'll zoom in a little bit closer so Melanie is right here at the intersection of El Rancho Road and this is West Grant Line this is GMA pallet recycling it's reported as about 15 acres of pallet storage you can see the stacks of pallets in this satellite image that are currently burning they're about currently reported about two 
thirds of that yard burning, and they don't believe they're going to be able to save the rest of it, again, because of the lack of water, and then also uh, just the intensity of the fire in that uh, stack of wood. So right now, they're asking people to stay clear of the area, with West Grant Line Road being the main route for them to shuttle water in. There's no hydrants in the area, so there, any water you see them using, they're having to shuttle in with water tenders. So they're right now on a couple of the streets, there have been reports of some of the tenders having trouble getting around looky lose and uh, stop traffic in that area. So for now, Avoid West Grant Line Road, El Rancho Road, South Bird Road. Those are the areas that are being impacted. And then, of course, we've talked about the elementary school. Here's the pallet recycling facility. Here's the elementary school right across the street. And then the homes that Teo and Melanie have been referring to are right here. And uh, they have been working with the sheriff's office right now to evacuate those homes that are along El Rancho Road, according to the latest reports on the CHP site. So uh, that is the situation right in that immediate area there off of Grant Line Road. This is just south of 205 and just north of West 11. So right now 205 is a 19 minute ride between I5 and 580 heading over the Altamont Pass. We're looking at a 28 minute ride if you're heading down into Dublin and still no delays on 99. And as far as Sacramento is concerned, we have no other issues to report here. Everything is running at the limit. But of course, uh, weather a big issue when it comes to fires like this as well, guys. Yeah. Certainly is. Uh, wind can wreak havoc on firefighting efforts. Good news is the, the wind is, is pretty light, right, Tam? It is light, but as some of that smoke kind of drives up into the upper atmosphere, some of it kind of waffles back down eventually. And if you are waking up and smelling any sort of smoke, it is a good idea that you close the windows. And I know that on a morning like this, it's actually pretty mild outside. We're in the low 50s around the area. You can see clearly from the wind that the direction here is out of the east to northeast in this area specifically and the observations are not pulling in, but I can tell you the wind speeds are under five miles per hour uh, from the San Joaquin Valley Air District. I looked at this graphic going back to the four o'clock time frame and you can see that the particulate matter does go above that yellow line, yellow line indicating that it's in the level two status. So if you are very sensitive to smoke, it is not a good idea to be outside entertaining any sort of vigorous exercise or things like that. And again, if you can smell the smoke, close the windows and and uh, also don't spend long periods outside in the smoke. Three things to know about the day ahead. A live look there in Fairfield. Our skies are clear. It's a pleasant morning. A warmer day is expected and the winds are expected to stay light as well. I'll have a complete look at your full forecast coming up in just a bit. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So stay with us as we continue to follow this breaking news all morning here at KCRA 3 for around the clock updates. Just download the free KCRA 3 app and make sure you turn on those push alerts so you can get updates no matter where you are and even when we're not live on air.